Hello. I finally got on here. <laughs> oh, you look like your home looks nice. You look clean. Look, everything looks good. Oh, hey, girl. Thank you. Thank you, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Everybody's driving me crazy every time you go live. And I come on, I tried to come on and I said, eh, maybe. Why are they working. driving you crazy? Why do they want you on my show so bad? Uh, you know, with social media, I guess they feel that I can possibly be found by someone. Okay. Do you, are you a social media? Are you a social media person? Uh, yeah. yeah. What do you do on I'm social media. media? Um, well, here in Utah on a radio station. Oh, okay. um, it's crazy because I'm actually, I've been in the industry for 30 years, but I'm actually nervous right now. <laughs> You're nervous. All right, well, let's get into it. What's yeah. your name, baby? Onyx. My name is Onyx. Onyx. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was trying to um, slow down the comments. It went really fast. All right. Onyx, where are you calling us from? I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. You have any kids? I do. I have, um, I've, well, I've adopted kids and fostered kids, so I don't like to leave them out. But when you say you have like eight kids, they're like, right. <laughs> um, but I have, uh, so I have three adopted children, some foster children, and biologically I have four. Four. Of my own. Um, how old are your, um, I know you have all kids, right? So again, not excluding anybody out, but let's just start. How old are your biological kids? I have 13-year-old twin boys, a 21-year-old daughter. She's in the military deployed right now. And a 19-year-old son. Oh, how old are you? I'm 42. 42, you look great. Have you ever Thank been you. married? I have been married. Um, all my kids okay. are about the same person. I'm an ex-wife, not a baby mama. No Ooh, shade. Yeah. Ooh, okay. But I don't That's like that. I'm not what? a baby mama. How many years were you guys married for? We were married for 12, um, but together about 15 years. Um, I'll say I say slow mo chat. I try guys. I'll figure it out later. They're telling me to slow down the comments in the YouTube chat. I will try to figure out later. I thought I did it, but I guess I did it. So I got y'all next, next show. All right. I'm sorry. Tell me one more time. You said you was married for how many years? We were married 12 years together. 15. Why did you guys get divorced? I mean, uh, he was a truck driver that, uh, yeah. Um, I, okay. Look, I'm going to have my own accountability. I work a lot and my goal was to be retired at the age I am now. So I put work, I just worked a lot and he was a truck driver gone often. And he was very intimidated by my industry. Uh, you know, from the studio late nights working with talent, he, he wanted me to stay at home. Uh, so he found women on the road that needed him in ways. It just oh, didn't no. work out, I guess. Okay. Yeah. It didn't work out. All right. So let's yeah. continue. This is Onyx, Salt Lake City, Utah, three adopted kids, four biological kid, kids, so seven kids total. Yeah. Are they all in your house still? Well, 21 and 19 are, are going. How old are no. the adopted kids? Um, I have a 31-year-old I adopted when I was young. She was a, like a step-cousin that I okay. took in. Um, and then uh, my 26-year-old and another, how old is he, 24. Everyone's out of the house except the boys, the twins. Oh, okay. So everybody's grown. Yeah, except my 13-year-old boys. Except the 13. So just 13-year-old boys live with you. And what do you do again for a living, Onyx? Um, I do several things. I would say my greatest breadwinner right now um, would be my PPE business. Uh, so we provide medical equipment, personal protection equipment for the government, for military. Okay. All right. PPP. So PPE. Yeah, personal protection, COVID machines. Well, they're not. They kill COVID. Thing. Like so, we have machines that I normally have them somewhere in here, but they kill COVID. They kill COVID. All right, let's do it. So, and what's your birthday or zodiac sign? Oh, how, you said you're I'm 40 an Aries. 40. My birthday is April eighth. Okay, she's an Aries. All right, let's get to it. This is on in Salt Lake City, Utah. Forty two is an Aries. Um, she works. She has her own PPE business. Um, seven children, four biological, three adopted. She was once married. All right, Onyx, what kind of man are you looking for, girl? I'm looking to be found. Um, I I just want a good man that's a manly man, not, um, you know, not afraid of me or intimidated by me. I like to be, uh, not, I wouldn't say put in my place, but, you know, I I don't like a man to cower. Um, I understand. Have men told you that they were intimidated by you? Quite often. Um, okay, quite often. So did they give you the reasons why they're intimidated? Um, 
I would probably say financially intimidating, but I'm not a woman. I've learned that in certain tax brackets, we're not going to find men that make what I make. So I let them know, look, just have your own. Um, don't come to my house. Don't leave mama house coming to mama house because you can't drive my car. You're not going to move into my house. Have your own house. Have your own car. But have a career and just be confident. You know, that's it. It's very simple. Do you want to give a, a ballpark or how much you make? <laughs> I make over six figures a month. Over six figures a month. Okay. And so I would expect a man to at least make six figures a year. Okay. Well, I guess that's a fair for a requirement. We make yeah, over I think it's fair. But oftentimes, like I said, when they're intimidated by me, it's because of income. I'm not shallow, but you know, let's be realistic. And I'm so, actually really outgoing. I'm really quiet right now. So I'm like, I'm, I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I'm really outgoing and goofy. Um, I'm a very fun person. Um, so I want somebody that has a personality because I like to I like to pull pranks and do all kinds of things. So I want someone that has a personality, and that's just. I'm actually this, I'm actually this question early. Do you want to get married again? I love being married. So you said you want to have his own house, his own everything. He can't move in with you. So what would happen in that dynamic? Are you moving out of your house, moving into his house? Like we would how do you um, see probably that? do something together, find some middle ground, probably a um, prenuptial agreement. I don't, it, it depends when we get there. You know, let's get there. Um, okay, but, I but as listen. in meeting him, he has to already have his own house and everything. Yeah, have, just have your own. It doesn't have to be a mansion. But have your own. I don't want you to have a hundred pair of Jordans and you live in an apartment. It, does, okay. it just doesn't make sense to me. So let I'll say so. Just to be clear, because I had a woman up here before that was financially um, stable, and she said not even you couldn't have an apartment to deal with her. So do you think could he have an apartment or he has to live in a house? No, I want someone who's. I'm forty. You know, I'm forty-two. So I want someone who's financially literate enough to own a condo. Can you own a condo? Just have your own. Mm. I, I just don't, I mean, I understand people fall on hard times. I've fallen on hard times. I've been homeless before. Um, but I believe that you have to invest in yourself. And so I want someone that has, a, you know, enough sense to invest in themselves. Okay. A condo. <laughs> okay. So let's just, let's be clear. She makes over six figures a month. So her requirement for a guy is six figures bare minimum a year. And you have to be an owner, a homeowner in some capacity, whether you own your own house or you own your own condo. You own a place in Georgia. I mean, it's affordable there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So what other attributes? You said you want to be found, but what type of attributes do you want the guy to have that finds you? I like someone tall. Um, you could be about five at short, five, six. Um, How tall are you? I'm five, three and a half. Okay. Uh outspoken a lot of personality again it's i don't like quiet men i like someone that I can converse with and we can have a good time um i i like to host people a lot so i don't want a man that's sitting in a corner if we're having an event i want someone that's social uh so i don't know someone to match my energy someone to match your energy what's some deal breakers for you living with your mother several baby mamas a lot of drama in your life um, I just don't want drama. I, I like my peace. It took me a long time to get here. Um, it took me a long time to heal. So I want peace. Um, no, no chaos. You know, you can have an ex-wife, you can have four or five, or six kids, but if you have like four and five and six baby mamas, it won't work. That's just too many energies. That's too many energies. There's too much All personality, right. you know, too, I've been there, done that. Mm -mm. Oh, you dated men with multiple baby mamas. Yeah, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Okay. So he could have kids, but just, by, but just not by a lot of women. Yeah, it's just too much. Got you. So um, does he have to look a certain way, Onyx? Um, I would prefer someone fit. I used to be a big woman, and I lost 150 pounds, so I put the effort in. So I won't ask for what I won't give. Um, so I would love to have someone fit. And if you're not fit right now, are you willing to get fit? Can we do it together? I'm okay with it because I've been there. Um, but if I'm not, I don't want someone that's just laying around, breathing on me. I'm too active and I'm a freak in the bedroom. So you got to keep up. Woo! Oh, let's go right there with the, you done brought it up. You're a freak in the bedroom, Onyx. Absolutely. So when was your last relationship? 2018. So when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Last year. You haven't had sex in a year? No. Um, I don't want any spiritually transmitted diseases. Okay, 
But when you get into your next relationship, you want to make sure that you can be the freak that you are. Oh, yeah. I ask a lot of questions. So you ask a lot of questions? I ask a lot of questions. Well, what questions do you ask? I, I look like this in the daytime. But if we're together, I'm... <laughs> I'm what terrible. kind of questions do you ask about, I guess, when it comes to sex? Um, how disrespectful would you let me get? Because I'm, there's, I am <laughs> pretty, I am, here's the thing. I've made mistakes um, when, before I learned to love my body. And once I learned my body, I learned to love my body. I learned how to please myself using your body. And I'm going to do a lot with our bodies together. I'm going to do as much as I can until I pass out. So it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to turn. <laughs> so let me, okay, a couple things. Now you said you lost 150 pounds. Yes. Were you a freak before you lost the weight or did you become the freak after you lost the weight? After. After. So yeah. tell me you why. Feel things, you feel things that you didn't know were there. Um, I, I mean, I, I gained weight having babies, you know. Okay. Um, and you just being a mom and being a wife and you, you know, things just change. Right. Um, but after I lost the weight, a lot of energy came back and you, when you sit on it and your stomach is not there, baby, <laughs> you feel things inside your stomach that you didn't know. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I can ride and get head at the same time. Okay. <laughs> wait, what'd you say? What'd you say? You say you, could ride and give head at the same time? Yes, because you got more room. Things are out the way. <laughs> Long story. got to be real limber to do all that. <laughs> I have one more question. Hopefully it's not too invasive. Did you lose the weight the natural way? I know we're living in a time where we do all types of things to get so the weight off. So I was losing it the natural way. And the company that I had, the, I did have a bypass because I had stomach cancer. Okay. And so um, I went and had a roll and wide, but then ended up with stomach cancer. Um, after losing weight and it was a struggle, you know, okay. so I've been, I've been through some things, but I did start the process of um, working out, hiring a trainer, you know, I've done all of it, but then I've had, my boys came after I lost weight and had, uh, well, the cancer came after them, but I, you can put the weight back on. People fail to realize because you have a bypass, you're not going to be skinny forever. I mean, I still got curbs again, um, but I maintain this comfortable weight naturally now. Okay. Um, and going back to your freak question, does he got to be a freak too? Absolutely. I, um, <laughs> you know, I, I remember Oprah saying, uh, I wish I knew 50s was this good. I think the older I get, the nastier I get. I'm disrespectful and I'm, I'm horrible. I'm, I'm comfortable in my own skin and I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. So I believe third time's a charm. I've been married twice. So, um, when I get married this time, it's this for it. The second time was I married an NBA player. It was like a fantasy, like, oh my God. It was just more superficial. Great guy, but I was more obsessed with the fantasy. Um, but this time I want to do it right. And what you're not gonna do is cheat on me. Was the NBA um, player your child's father, your children's father? No, he was my second husband. He was nine years younger. You're nine years younger. How he long did that marriage last? In the bedroom for sure. Say one more time. He definitely matched my energy in the bedroom. So how long did that marriage last? Um, a year and a half. Why did I get divorced? He was nine years younger. I was, like I, like I said, I was physically and sexually attracted to him. He was, he was amazing. Amazing guy. But we're just two different people um, because of the age gap. You know, mm. it was fun being a cougar. He was a great guy. Um, I just need someone closer to my age that's a freak. And that has their stuff together. If you have 500 pairs of Jordan, you live in an apartment. I don't care how freaky you are; it's not going to work because it's freaky Ooh, enough. Wow, that's a mess. Look, Onyx said, "Listen, being the bedroom." So I was thinking about. I've been toying with that question, but good sex is imperative for you. Absolutely, we have to. You know, it's not just sex. That's not the number one thing on my list. But let's be honest; it's very important. Okay, there was a question that someone child paid to ask this question so i'm trying to pull it up to get to it if i can um to the top of the comments they're very mesmerized by you especially oh, since you, you went into a deep dive into the sex question child you know we're what grown. I mean? like we're grown we're adults all right so let's go to that what's your age range um i think the youngest i would date is 36 
36? Okay, and what's and the no, oldest? 46. The youngest you would is 46? Back. No, the oldest is 30. I mean, the youngest is 36, the oldest is 46. Okay, the youngest is 46. I don't want to like to be go at the same time, not with me on top of him. Mm -mm. Does he have to be in Salt Lake, Utah? No. No. All right, I'm looking for the question. I can't find it, but I think I remember what it said. It it was something to around the fact that because you make a, over six figures a month, why mm -hmm. does it matter to you if he makes six figures a year since you're financially secure? Why should that matter? That was something yeah. that was posing a question. It could have been from a guy or a girl. I can't. Because I'm not, I, I have children to take care of, still have your own. I want you to... I feel that that's a great compromise. I, I feel that's a great compromise. Um, and I want someone to at least match me in certain areas. And the mistakes that I've learned, I wouldn't say it's a mistakes, but the lessons that I've learned, um, dating men that don't even make six figures, they're intimidated. I'm not Stella. I'm not catching every bill. I'm still a woman. You know, I want to go to nice places. I don't have to be, you know, the Ritz Carlton, but I want to still somewhere feel comfortable and do nice things and you're not intim intimidated. Okay. I, I think that's a great compromise. I think so too. I mean, if you make, oh, I mean, that means you make over a million dollars a year and all you're saying is he has to make what you make in a month for the whole entire year. I don't that's think a that's a bad request. Yeah. Um, let's keep going though. All right. So this is Onyx in um, Salt Lake, Utah. She's 42, is an Aries. Um, all right. So why do you think you're single? I had to learn how to be soft. Um, I was very dominant in my relationships, very controlling, very bossy, um, very emasculating and belittling. I had to, I mean, I had to learn just to be soft and to be respectful. And I learned that, you know, being lonely at night, not fun. Um, and, you know, you want to be treated how you, you want to, I want to be treated with respect, so I have to give it. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't giving it, so I found myself alone. And men don't, they don't care about our money. I mean, I'm single. Um, when was your last relationship? 2018 with my second husband. Okay, that was the last time. So not giving you no pushback. I don't think you have um, a lot of strenuous demands, especially for who, what you're, who you are. Um, but is companionship more important than your list? Let's say you meet a guy who doesn't make six figures or lives in an apartment or whatever the case may be is does, does like are like the things of him being a homeowner or a condo owner. I've tried all that. I've dated the men that live with their mom. I'm, you know, I've dated, you know, dating doesn't necessarily mean you're screwing, but I've dated men who didn't have anything because it, the money doesn't define you. But for me to continue to do the same thing that hasn't worked is the definition of what to repeat the same thing over and over is insane. So I need to try something different. That shit didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. It didn't work for me. So but I you dated said, both. Why? Didn't you date? I'm, I mean, you dated a basketball player. So I'm assuming he made millions of dollars. That yeah. didn't work according to you either, right? He made he made decent money. He wasn't an A-list basketball player. Um, but he made decent money. But I made more. And so okay. um, I want, I mean, I'm still asking for, I, I, I'm being reasonable. And I find that men always want me to um, meet them down. Like, in, it just doesn't make sense. Just because you don't make six figures, stop trying to make me feel guilty for some, wanting someone to make that much. I'm not saying make a million a year or two million a year. I, I think got, I got you. I, I think it's very reasonable. And I, I learned to just stand my ground. I want what I want. And that's, something I feel is very reasonable. Listen, I totally get it. And I, the guess I'm asking from, it was a question that came from the comments. And then just, um, the it's, it's the unfortunate thing with sometimes being a successful woman. When you make a lot of money, the you might not have a lot of men that make the same amount of money as you, or the men that make the same amount of money as you, or more might not want to be committed to one woman. It's like a lot of different things you have to ask yourself. So, um, and I hope the best, the perfect medium for me. Um, the gentlemen that make way more, they have made way more women and way more options and things that I don't want to involve myself with. Um, because I am, uh, when it comes to loving someone, I love hard and I'm not sharing. 
adult so um so i just want someone that i'm comfortable with that i feel i don't intimidate and that's comfortable with me okay all right last question why would a guy be lucky to be with you because there's a million women out there and one of me and i i know that i'm very Wait, say it one more time. there are a million women out there but there's only one of me and i'm very very unique i'm very unique i there's I, there I've, I've not been compared to other women and that's what i'm proud of i'm proud of who i am where i've come from what i've overcome and how i love okay we love it we love it this is onyx salt lake city utah she has four biological kids three adopted she was once married she's 42 with aries the guy does not have to be in salt lake utah she owns her own ppe business and she'll date 36 to 46. The guy can have kids, but not multiple baby mamas. He has to be a homeowner in some capacity, whether it's a house or a condo. And he has to make bare minimum six figures a year because she makes six figures a month. Girl, everybody want to know, they want they want your career, child. Well, I have, I have an enterprise with several. As entrepreneurs, you're supposed to have several streams of income to be successful. Um, so the because of COVID and being in entertainment, not being able to do what we do at the time, I lucked up and was introduced to a business that was very lucrative, um, uh, very lucrative. And um, just find something that is unique to you. I mean, I sell jewelry, I do a whole bunch of things. I just like several streams of income, but that was a blessing. I mean, I was homeless four years ago. So I rebuilt myself again. Um, so just wow, so you were homeless four years ago? Yeah, I ended up sick in the hospital, lost my stuff, and just rebuilt. I am the queen of rebuilding. <laughs> and so, for you. I mean, you guys, you can, um, they can look it up. But I, I love helping people rebuild. And, you know, you're not where you came from because I came from a dark place. And I'm just happy with where I am in life. And that's why I love my peace. Get it, girlfriend. I, I'm proud of you. Keep going. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, let's do it. Wait, before you go, we got to see how the fellas are going to reach out to you. Facebook or Instagram? Uh, let's do Instagram. Instagram. Hi. What's the Instagram name? It's Onyx, like my name on YouTube. Uh, O-N-Y-X-X dot Monopoly like the board game. Monopoly like the board game. So this is, oh, so it's just like this. So O-N-Y-X-X dot M-O-N-O-P-O-L-Y? Uh-huh. Onyx add the dot. Three with two X's, not three. I'm so one more time. <laughs> I said it's with two X's, not three. Three after dark. Three X's after dark. But anyways. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention the guy also has to be a freak. In, yes. In in the bedroom, not in the streets. <laughs> in the bedroom. Got the, you. the pain has to only be mine. <laughs> Ooh. I don't she share my sense. microphones with nobody. <laughs> this is Ooh, she'll share her microphones with nobody. Ooh, girl, all these men going to hit you up. I hope they meet the um the bare minimum requirements but they gonna want to be at you anyway just because yeah, be respectful you know. don't be intimidated but all i ask is be respectful and you said you like to ask questions while you in the bedroom oh i talk I, you not cheating on me oh you like him tonight <laughs> wait wait your phone is <laughs> out it was probably meant to go out time? it was meant to go it probably I, was all right I, you, I, it I, probably I, was I, you're I, right I, Okay, Onyx. Well, well, thank you for coming on the show, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You guys have a great evening. You're welcome. Keep me posted how it goes. Okay, baby. Take care. Okay.